Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Cyber attacks are a growing concern. Among these threats, distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks stand out. A DDoS attack disrupts normal traffic by overwhelming a target with a flood of internet traffic from multiple sources. Imagine a busy highway suddenly inundated with thousands of cars all trying to access the same exit. This creates a digital traffic jam, rendering the targeted website or service inaccessible. The consequences can be devastating, leading to financial losses, reputational damage, and disruption of critical services. Understanding DDoS attacks is crucial for implementing effective defense mechanisms. To understand how DDoS attacks work, picture the Internet as a network of roads. Websites and online services are like buildings along these roads. Data packets travel back and forth like cars. A DDoS attack floods these roads with traffic from multiple directions. Attackers use botnets, networks of compromised computers called bots or zombies. These bots send massive amounts of traffic to the target server, overwhelming its capacity. Think of it like thousands of people calling a customer service line simultaneously. The server struggles to differentiate between legitimate requests and attack traffic, leading to slowdowns and service disruptions. The targeted website or service becomes inaccessible, causing inconvenience and frustration for users. The impact of DDoS attacks can be far-reaching, affecting businesses, users, and even national security. For businesses, DDoS attacks can result in significant financial losses. Every minute of downtime translates to lost revenue, especially for e-commerce platforms. DDoS attacks can also damage a company's reputation. Customers who experience service disruptions may lose trust in the brand and turn to competitors. Beyond financial losses, DDoS attacks can disrupt critical infrastructure. Attacks targeting financial institutions, healthcare providers, or government websites can have severe consequences. For users, DDoS attacks mean inconvenience and frustration, impacting work, education, and social interactions. The disruption to online services can be significant. Cybercriminals use various methods and tools to launch DDoS attacks. These methods exploit vulnerabilities in network protocols and server configurations. One common method is the SYN flood attack, which exploits the TCP handshake process. The attacker sends a massive number of SYN requests to the target server initiating the handshake process. However, the attacker never completes the handshake, leaving the server with a backlog of half-open connections. This consumes server resources, making it difficult to respond to legitimate requests. Another method is the DNS amplification attack, which exploits the domain name system to amplify traffic. The attacker sends DNS requests with a spoofed source IP address, making it appear as if the requests are coming from the target. When the DNS servers respond, they send large amounts of data to the spoofed IP address, overwhelming the target server. Cybercriminals also use readily available DDoS tools such as Low Orbit Ion Cannon, LOIC, and High Orbit Ion Cannon, OAC. The proliferation of Internet of Things IoT devices has expanded the attack surface for DDoS attacks. IoT devices such as smart home appliances and industrial sensors are often poorly secured and vulnerable to compromise. Attackers can exploit these vulnerabilities to build massive botnets of compromised IoT devices. These botnets, often referred to as ThingBots, can generate larger volumes of traffic than traditional botnets. Artificial intelligence AI is also being used to enhance DDoS attacks. AI-powered DDoS tools can learn and adapt to defense mechanisms, making them more effective. They can automate the process of identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities, making it easier for attackers to launch sophisticated attacks. The use of AI in DDoS attacks poses a significant challenge for cybersecurity professionals. Kaylee Linux is a Debian-based Linux distribution designed for digital forensics and penetration testing. It comes equipped with tools that security professionals use to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. While Kaylee Linux is valuable for ethical hacking, it can also be misused by malicious actors. One such tool is HPing3, a network packet analyzer and assembler. It allows users to craft and send custom TCP IP packets, useful for network testing. However, attackers can misuse HPing3 to send a high volume of spoofed packets, 
causing a denial of service. Another tool is Slow Loris, which implements a low bandwidth denial of service attack. It sends partial HTTP requests to a web server, keeping the connections open and exhausting the server's resources. Using Kali Linux and its tools for illegal activities is unethical and illegal. Botnets play a crucial role in DDoS attacks by providing attackers with an army of compromised devices. A botnet is a network of internet-connected devices called bots, infected with malware. These bots can be computers, laptops, smartphones, or even IoT devices. The attacker, known as the bot herder, can command these bots to carry out various tasks, including launching DDoS attacks. In a DDoS attack, the bot herder directs all the infected devices to send requests to the target server simultaneously. The sheer volume of traffic overwhelms the server's resources, causing it to slow down or crash. Botnets can be incredibly large, consisting of thousands or even millions of compromised devices. The distributed nature of botnets makes them difficult to mitigate because the attack traffic originates from multiple sources. Law enforcement agencies and cybersecurity organizations are constantly working to identify and dismantle botnets. Malware plays a significant role in DDoS attacks by providing attackers with the tools to compromise and control devices. Mirai and Hoich are two notorious examples of malware used in DDoS attacks. Mirai targets and infects IoT devices with weak or default credentials. Once it finds a vulnerable device, it infects it and adds it to its botnet. Mirai gained notoriety in 2016 when it was used to launch a massive DDoS attack against DIN, a DNS service provider. The attack disrupted access to major websites and online services. HOAC, or High Orbit Ion Cannon, is a network stress testing tool that can also be used to launch DDoS attacks. It sends a barrage of HTTP requests to a target server attempting to overwhelm it with traffic. Unlike Mirai, which relies on compromised devices, HOIC requires users to manually download and execute the software. The evolution of DDoS malware highlights the importance of staying informed about the latest threats and implementing robust security measures. Protecting against DDoS attacks requires a multi-layered defense strategy. This includes measures to prevent attacks, absorb malicious traffic, and ensure service availability. One crucial aspect is to secure your network infrastructure. This includes using strong passwords, regularly updating firmware and software, and implementing firewalls. Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems IDPS, can help identify and block malicious traffic. Another essential strategy is to absorb malicious traffic using DDoS mitigation services. These services route your traffic through their network of scrubbing centers, filtering out malicious traffic. Content delivery networks CDNs, can also help by distributing your website's content across multiple servers. If one server is under attack, the CDN can redirect traffic to other servers. Regularly testing your defenses is crucial to ensure their effectiveness. By regularly testing and improving your defenses, you can stay ahead of attackers and minimize the impact of DDoS attacks. DDoS attacks are constantly evolving, becoming more sophisticated and challenging to mitigate. Attackers are finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities and amplify attack traffic. One trend is the increasing use of multi-vector DDoS attacks, combining multiple attack methods. Another trend is the rise of DDoS for higher services, making attacks accessible to even unskilled attackers. As technology advances, we can expect to see more sophisticated DDoS attacks. Attackers may leverage emerging technologies like AI and machine learning to automate attacks. In the face of these evolving threats, it's crucial to adopt a proactive approach to cybersecurity. This includes staying informed about the latest threats and implementing robust security measures. By being vigilant and prepared, we can mitigate the risk posed by DDoS attacks and ensure the resilience of our digital infrastructure.